today's Paano Mato video is quite special because this month I am celebrating one year of Paano Mato on YouTube. So I wanted to make a very special video where I will be the one to answer questions that you guys posted on my community tab and hopefully I can give advice to whatever it is you are going through. So I'm traveling right now. I'm on a work trip in New York and this video will be picturesque walking around the city. Okay, so the first question is from Aldrin Rivera. Sabi niya, Hi Bianca, how will you be able to get to know yourself? Madalas kasi lagi nating sinasabi, dapat kilala natin ang sarili natin for us to know what to do. Paano ba to? Okay, so there is no other way to get to know yourself but by experiencing things. Allowing yourself to experience things out of your comfort zone, to make mistakes, to correct those mistakes, to fall in love, fall out of love, to do crazy things sometimes. Testing your limits will also allow you to be able to know yourself. There are so many things that you can do to get to know yourself more but it really will take time. Until now, I am 35, I'm still getting to know myself. But for me, it's such an enjoyable process. So take it one step at a time and slowly but surely you will get to know yourself. Okay, next. Kyrel Pena asks, If you could give your younger self advice, what would you tell her? Very hard question. But honestly, I think I would tell her to one, chill out. <laughs> To not worry about the little things. Two, to trust your instinct and your gut. And three, to just keep going at it, whatever it is. I find that a lot of times growing up, I worried so much about problems that I thought were huge problems. But now in hindsight, parang, ah, yun lang yung problema ko nun. So yeah, those are the things I would love to tell my younger self. Next, from Feliz Navidad Inclino, what is your advice for people going through quarter life crisis? My number one advice is you are not alone. Everyone goes through quarter life, third life, midlife crisis. Life is full of moments that you feel you're in a crossroad or you feel like you're going through a crisis. But when it gets too overwhelming, take things one day at a time. I found that that really helps. Sometimes kasi we're so worried about a year from now, five years from now, ten years from now that you fail to see that it's in the little day to day that you survive that you grow and you get to that one year and five years and ten years. So whatever it is, you will get through it one day at a time. Next, okay, from Risa says, I have a job but I feel like it's tiring me out. Nakakapagod araw-araw. How do I keep going? I remember the advice Tito Boy Abunda gave in the second video of this Paano Bato series. Such a good reminder. Sabi niya, minsan, may mga kailangan tayo gawin sa buhay na kahit medyo ayaw natin, we have to. Kasi it's our job. Kailangan natin kumita. Kailangan natin mabuhay. So, don't be fooled by social media na you see all your friends they're living their dream life with their dream job. It did not take overnight to get to that dream job and to enjoy the perks of that dream job. Like we talked about in that video, there's really no job that will make you completely happy. Every job has a downside. Every job has an upside also. So especially when you're starting, especially when you're on your first job or your second job, kahit hindi mo masyadong gusto, kahit pagod na pagod ka, you have to just keep going. Nung time naman ng parents natin, di naman uso yung, ma, ah, I'm so burnt out. I think just because they knew it, it, it was a job and it's something that they have to do. So you have to go through that. And if you've been in your job for years and it still makes you unhappy, miserable, you're not growing, then you consider, hey, maybe this is not the job for me. Next, from Grace Igbos, how to not be down kapag nilalait ka ng iba at dina down for being negra? Well, I am a proud morena, proud brown skin, proud negra. I also mentioned this in my recent video that I wasn't as bothered as others when I would be bashed na negra, negra, kasi I knew in my heart na, oh, maitim ako, but there's nothing wrong with being maitim. I mean, it's such a beautiful color. Ang daming Caucasian na pilit 
nilang gustong magkatan dahil maganda ang brown skin. So, own it! Own your brown skin. I always use the hashtag Proud Morena. So, just be proud of your skin and take care of it. Make sure pantay yung kulay. Wear colors that complement Morena's skin. Be proud! There's nothing else to say. You shouldn't be down because brown is such a beautiful color. Okay, next question. From Abby Angel. Some days it's hard to be a mom because there's a lot of judgment and comments around me. Minsan, I let it define who I am as a mom. Okay, so I know I'm such a new mom, but one thing I've really, really learned is that every mother is different and every child is different. So not just because ito yung ways ng mama to or yung batang to, ganito na yung nagagawa at this age, doesn't mean that you have to follow that. You know what is best for your child and it's human nature to want to please other people but when it comes to being a mom it's such a personal thing there's no one right way to be a mom so don't be too hard on yourself next from Andrea Ong any advice on picking a course in college or finding your dream in life one thing I've also learned from a lot of friends is that your course in college usually is what you are interested in at the time but it will not necessarily define what your career will be I know someone who took philosophy in college pero ngayon successful hairstylist siya I know someone who took math in college pero ngayon makeup artist siya someone who took physics pero ngayon journalist siya so your course will not tie you down to your future career and finding what your dream in life is will take time if you watch the video on francis kong that i've had and the video with anthony pangilinan that i've had they give great advice on how to find what your passion or what your calling is in life so watch those videos next from Chelsea Tang, how do you accept the breakup when he chose his career over you? <sighs> Accepting a breakup is hard, period. Whether it's because of career, another person, or you just did not get along. How do you accept it? Just time. One time and two is just feeling the pain. Just feel the pain so much until you overcome it. You can watch the video that I did with Angelica Panganiban on uh, how to move on. She gives great, great advice there. Next, from Princessy Banana, she said, When was the time you finally accepted that your parents will never get back together? Ako kasi, it still affects me. I was high school when my parents decided to separate and I think uh, although of course everyone wants a complete family for me I just wanted both my parents to be at peace and happy and obviously they were not at peace living under one roof because they would always fight shout at each other and so diba, who wants that kind of life for their parents so what made me accept it is knowing that if they lived separately they would be happier more at peace just because your parents are separated doesn't change the fact that they love you. It will not change how much they love you. So I hope that helps. And last but not the least, from Sky1592. How to keep inspiring yourself to be better despite all the setbacks, negativities, doubt, and criticisms? It's hard because I get a lot of questions about how do you stay motivated, how do you stay inspired despite all the negativity. I think it should come from within because you have a dream that you want to achieve, you have goals for yourself that you want to reach. Focus. What is your dream by in life? Thing you want to check off your bucket list. What is your goal for yourself? Do you want to be this kind of person or this kind of person? Do you want to save up this much money? Do you want to travel to this place? Do you want to reach this certain kind of job? Always just have that in you. Keep that in mind. Always just remind yourself of your dreams and your goals and that should be more than enough to keep you inspired and to keep you focused despite the negativity around you because the, you can never do anything about negativity around you that will always be there that is something that is present in everyone's lives but what you can do is 
to not focus on it. To focus instead on what inspires you, what drives you. Brush the negativity off. And I've had videos on this channel with Tony Gonzaga and Kim Chu and Solen Husef that you might want to revisit because they give great advice on how to stay positive. So that's it! Thank you to everyone who has watched my video since day one. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. Welcome to everyone who just recently discovered this channel. Thank you for all your wonderful, wonderful comments. They really warm my heart and I hope for many, many more years to come to share advice to you guys. That's it. Bye.